Kia ora. My name is Farau Lysander, and welcome to Oho Ake Books. This is part two of my revelatory experience uh, from the Healing Hearts Festival ceremony that I went to uh, last Saturday. And this is a continuation of my Wachuma experience around the fire on Saturday night and my integration from that experience days later. Only now have I really, this is three days later, only really now have I come to the place where I've understood the integration of what Grandfather Wachuma has taught me about myself, about my work as a writer, as an author, as an imaginist. I went into the festival experience ceremony with the intention when I took Wachuma and Kakao to let go of the things that were limiting me in my life, that were holding me back. And the revelations have come on the night and the day after. So the biggest revelation I had while talking to my friend Nick was a realization that the men, that the men in my novels, especially my novels, and the men also, and the characters, not just the men, but the characters in my short stories, the Pablo Wairoa short stories and the Lord Buford Somerset stories, short stories, they were all attributes of my own personal, my own personal life, my own personal wounding, and my own personal healing journey experience. Every story correlates to a part of my own character, which blew my fucking mind completely. That all the short stories that I've compiled, and there are many, they are legion. In total, for Pablo Wairua, there's 30, 30 plus. For Lord Buford Somerset, there's 30 plus short stories. Every short story has a, a characteristic attribute about my own personal journey into healing and catharsis and understanding, my own wounding and my soul's expression in this existence and other existences. But in my novels, Sanctum, Entwined and United, I realized that the men that I wrote about in those books had attributes that I wanted to imbue in my personal life but didn't have the balls to do it didn't have the strength to do it didn't have the tools to become the man that I wanted to become the man that I am today the human that I am today I wrote these short stories as I went through my process of healing my understanding of my own anecdotal experiences and my own catharsis through my lifetime and other lifetimes all those expressions that are in those short stories. But in the novels, I wrote about men with conviction, determination, integrity, dignity, strength, vulnerability, all those things that I wanted to be, I wanted to imbue in my life. But I just did not have the strength to do it because my wounding was so deep and I was so afraid. From Sanctum to Entwined, United. Sanctum is an autobiographical book. I wanted to be the man at the end of that book because I knew I'd been the man at the very beginning of that book and the very the man at the, in the middle of the book. I'd been that man. I'd lived my life that way. I understood my past incarnation in that life, but I wanted to become the man at the end of that book. Pablo Wairo has journeyed. I, wanted, I had that same experience. I wanted to be that man. I knew I all his attributes. Kobe. I wanted to be, have his strength, have his determination, have his conviction, have his compassion, his empathy. Marcus, I wanted to feel his strength, his conviction, his empathy, his love, his deep sense of surrender and trust. Buford, I wanted to feel his excitement, his adventure, his passion, his compassion, his empathy. I wanted to be all these men. I wanted to imbue every characteristic that they had, but I didn't have the fucking balls to do it. I didn't have the strength to do it. And on Saturday night, 
while Tumor showed me, they were all parts of myself. And I was just blown away to understand that. These books are so personal in many ways, 13 of them. And I've finally become the man that I wanted to become. And Ihor Grace, my poetic heart, is the reflection of who I truly am now. How my soul speaks through me. How rigmarole, Dick Swab, who's writing through me and is a, part, is a part of me as well. How that humor and that insight combine. How that satire and that insight and that knowledge all combine. I find the humor in the most darkest moments through the light of awareness. I am these men. Ihor Grace, Dick Swab, I am these men. And finally, the final revelation I had, which came to me the last couple of hours during this day, was that my blog post that I've written about a particular topic and narrative for a whole year, just exposing it, day in, often day out, exposing it, writing about it, researching it. I knew it was time to walk away from it. My letting go process meant that I was to let go of this information, let go of the story, let go of the narrative, there are other people who are doing this in a fantastic and amazing and powerful ways and sharing their message. Now it is time for me to move aside and let them come forward and for me to write about other things in my blogs. I have to thank Grandfather Wachuma for this. For all the revelations that I've had on Saturday and Sunday. Thanks for watching. I really fucking appreciate it. Mateo, I will see you again soon. Be well.